what's going on everybody how you doing today today i have probably the most unique different robot vacuum i have ever seen personally and i think you guys are going to agree with me on that so this is a two-in-one robot vacuum i ordered this from kohl's.com because i had some extra kohl's cash to spend and i thought why not spend it on a vacuum for this channel so this is a robot vacuum. Look how big that box is. I did not expect it to be this big. I was honestly expecting just a normal sized robot vacuum. So I have not opened this. I honestly don't know what to expect because I thought it was just gonna be a robot vacuum. So this might have attachments with it. I'm not entirely sure. So we're gonna find out together. Without me telling you too much about it, let's just go ahead and unbox it. And then I'll show you kind of what I saw online and uh, we'll see if it's any good. I don't know if this is gonna be a very good overall robot vacuum, but it looks so interesting. I felt like I had to throw this on my channel. So let's go ahead and cut into this. I mean, look at the size of this box. I've never got a robot vacuum even more than half the size of this. So very interested to see why this box is so large. A bright red box. Interesting. Let me take it down for you and then we will check out what we have here. So we have this giant box that looks like an envelope. Pretty cool. Corral or Coral, however you want to say it. That's the brand name of this guy. Don't look it up just yet. Let's go to unbox this together and then we'll both see exactly what we have here. It's going to be a very interesting video, so please do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe, and then I'll be doing reviews on this guy. Let's go ahead and open up this giant envelope. I've never seen a box like this. Very, very interesting. I'm not even sure how to open it. This is just really quite cool, actually. I'm gonna slide that guy out. And then there's two more. All right, yeah, there's stuff inside of these as well. Thought maybe they were just dummy boxes. So that is, pro honestly, that's probably one of the coolest unboxings of a simple robot vacuum. Well, I doubt this thing's gonna be very simple, but that I've ever seen. That is really, really quite cool. I give them an A plus just for that. <laughs> now, will the robot be any good? I truly have no clue. So let's go ahead and check out what's inside these small side boxes first, and then we'll get to the robot. I honestly have no clue what is in included this, with this. I thought it was just gonna be the robot, and then the special feature that's built into the robot. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's start with this one. I'll tell you what, this is some amazing packaging. Check that out. Remember I said robot vacuum? Have you ever seen <laughs> that? So this actually has normal vacuuming parts and you will see why soon. All right, here is the dirt bin. Very interesting. This thing is, looks really nicely made. Very, very interesting. There's the filter, and the dirt bin. And most of you are saying, this ain't no robot vacuum. Well, I'll just wait till I get to it. So that's all. Look at all that packaging just for those three parts. I am quite impressed. I have never heard of this company before I saw it on Kohl's. See what's in this guy? Wow. <laughs> Look at that dock. 
I hope this thing can impress me. I really honestly have no clue if this is going to be a good robot vacuum or not. So here's the dock, quite large, nice and beefy, feels nice and solid. And you can even, it looks like you can put, it's going to have a clock built in here. So that's kind of cool. You guys ever heard of this company? Let me know down in the comments before we go any further if any of you truly know exactly what I'm unboxing. So I bet most of you don't. Comes with a remote control. Only three settings, and I'll be honest, I don't know what these are. Some kind of, looks like I can send this guy a text message. Just kidding. Maybe that shows how much battery's life, life is left. Maybe that shows what the battery life is left. And then that's probably like the suction power. And then there's even a settings menu, very odd. Here is the, this is the power brick for the dock. And here we go, here's the first resemblance of a robot vacuum, the side brush. Looks like only one. And once again, check out that packaging. Pretty sweet. And all right, let's get to the main guy. This thing has a feature that I've never ever seen on a robot vacuum. I think it's pretty dang cool. But once again, I just don't know how good this guy's gonna be. And we will put this thing through the ringer and I will give it my honest opinion when we are done. So once again, as far as packaging, I give this thing a 10 out of 10. This is very, very cool. I like unboxing this guy. I mean, look how nice this is. Here is a extension tube that connects into there. Yeah, there we go. Ready to rumble. Heck yeah. Check out the manual a little bit later if need be. And get ready for this, guys. And I don't think any of you are expecting this from a robot vacuum. So you're probably wondering why all these attachments. Well, here we go. This is why. That thing, you could drop this thing off of a freaking building and it wouldn't get damaged. That's how good it's protected. All right, here we go, guys. This is gonna be kind of fun to test. There we have it. That there is a robot vacuum. And what's super unique about this, and so unique, I've never seen it before, and and nobody's even tried this, which is kind of surprising. Let me get this tape off so I can show you. So, robot vacuum. And the entire battery pack and motor come off. And now you have a handheld vacuum with attachments. There we go. <laughs> is that not awesome? So now you can go to your stairs or whatever. I mean, you just use this as a normal handheld vacuum cleaner now. It's most likely dead, but I will charge this up and we will fully test this thing in an upcoming video. So pretty freaking awesome. It's just so unique. That's what I love about it. And, and then this power, this has the battery and everything in it. Now this powers the entire robot vacuum. And just like everything else, it's got wheels, a side brush, and then here is the spinning brush. You got bristles and you got the uh, silicone. That is really, really cool. I really hope this thing does a good job cleaning. Let's go ahead and throw on the side brush. Looks like it's just one that simply clicks on. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. 
very, very cool. 2000 MA battery. The model of this is a Coral One. And I am very interested to see how well this guy does. Let's really quick go over the remote. Very simple. You have power on and off, that's the gears. Then this over here is turbo mode. Okay, that's return to dock, so it'll automatically go back and recharge. Then this is just simply language setting. So the dust bin, when using handheld mode, is obviously this one. But the robot itself has its own built-in dust bin, which is right here. Lifts right out, and then you have your dirt bin. Let's see if, it's, let's see if the size of it's any good. So not bad. It's all going to be up in this section. Nice filter. This is going to be pretty fun to test out, I think. We'll see if this guy can handle my stress test, of course, which everybody seems to like. And uh, this should be a fun robot to test. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this guy up. Have it fully charged, and then I will show you it running as a robot. And I'll show you, show you how good it is as an actual handheld vacuum. And then uh, we'll see how good the suction power is. We'll put it through the stress test, and we'll see overall if, it, if I can recommend this thing for you, or if I say it's another POS. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Have you ever seen anything like this? What do you think of the packaging? The packaging to me was just awesome. I loved unboxing that. They really kind of went above and beyond to fit this little bit of stuff. It's such a giant box and such a nice display when you open it. So I give them major props for them. Let me know in the comments what kind of test you do want to see with this guy. And please do me a favor, like and subscribe, and have an awesome day. See ya. Here. That's cool. So it's going to charge here. And then as it charges, I think it's going to move up. And then it'll fill up this whole light bar. Very cool looking system. I, th I hope this thing cleans good. And we will see in future tests.